in here has ever written some code for a feature you thought might arrive in the future? Keep your hands up for a minute. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to doubt myself with you here. Who in here has ever, after many months of working around that code, ripped it out and thrown it away? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are bad guessers. And, and uh, you know, I love OO. I love object-oriented design. It's a thing that really interests me. But this, this thing of speculative generality where we say, I'm going to do something really cool in my code for some feature that I think we might need later, this is why people say bad things about OO. Right? This is what they blame us for. It's primarily things in that category. You have to be right. So the, the few times that you are right have to really be big wins to outweigh the enormous cost of being wrong. Code is read many more times than it is written. Uh, the, cost, the, cost that we, the, the, the reason that we cost money is the time we spent reading code. And if you add generality, you increase the level of abstraction of code. Very often that means adding levels of indirection, which humans are terrible at. And it means that every time someone looks at that code, it's harder to understand. So you, we should really try to restrain ourselves and not speculate about the future. When the new requirements come in, they'll tell us how we wish we'd written the code and we can do it then. <laughs>